welcome to my studio, The Paper Peddler. This is kind of an introductory video. I'm experimenting with doing some videos here. I've been a paper crafter for over 25 years now. I used to own a scrapbook store. Now I own a vintage shop in downtown Winchester, Kentucky. Our vintage shop is called Weird Owls Vintage. But the Paper Peddler, my original shop, is still live and well here in the vintage shop. Uh, the whole back half of the shop is actually my studio where I work. And so this channel is pretty much for all paper lovers and media lovers, as well as vintage lovers as well. Because to me, they, they mix and go hand in hand. I'm going to be doing a lot of videos about junk journaling and card making, and in those I use a lot of vintage media. Uh, ephemera is what we call it, but a lot of times it's uh, paper that was never really meant to be anything other than just, you know, serve its purpose at the time, such as, you know, mail and stamps and postcards and such. But I have a love for these things. I've saved them for years. I go to estate sales and I save boxes of people's family photographs. I, I can't handle throwing them away. I can't handle knowing that they're going to a dumpster. So I've been saving things for years. Photographs and greeting cards and postcards and, gosh, wrapping paper. Anything I can get my hands on that is paper related. And so now I'm going to start trying to share with people that have this love for paper. I'm going to start sharing some of the fun things that I do with all of this paper I've been collecting for years and years and years. Uh, this is one of my workspaces here in the studio. I have a few workspaces. This is where I primarily do my um, stamping, rubber stamping and such, and work on my junk journals. I have another whole station here in the studio where I work on upcycling vintage items. So I do more, you know, um, <laughs> breaking ceramics and reassembling ceramics and making jewelry and mixed media pieces. So I have all these fun stations set up here in the back of our vintage shop, Weird Owls Vintage. We're on Etsy. Uh, I don't have, I have thousands and thousands of items here in our shop, but you know, only maybe a couple hundred listed on our Etsy shop, but I'm working on it. It's a work in progress. And um, also, I have my um, store on Etsy, The Paper Peddler, where a lot of my greeting cards are on there currently. I'm going to start adding um, junk journals. I've mostly made junk journals just to give away, but I think I'm going to start adding some junk journals to the Etsy shop as well. And I teach classes here at the studio. I have a whole classroom set up and I teach classes for um, any kind of paper crafting is what I teach. And then I have other local artists that um, teach in the workshop as well. So lots of fun stuff going on here. If you're ever in Winchester, Kentucky, um, come see us. We're at 28 North Main. We own the whole building and so hopefully we're gonna be here to stay for quite a while. Anyway, um, here on my work table today, <laughs> I kind of cleaned it up for the video. It's usually piled with papers all over the place, but I somewhat cleaned it up a little bit to do a video. One of my favorite magazines was laying here, so I kind of scooted it over so you all could see one of my favorite magazines. This is a Dutch publica publication, and it's the Flow Book for Paper Lovers. I mean, if there was ever a magazine that was designed with completely me in mind it was this magazine it is just oh it's my happy happy place is to sit with this magazine every time I get a new one and I will they give you all kinds of freebies in here that you can cut up and you can use it in your junk journaling and your card making and any of your paper crafting but it takes me a while before I will actually get to the point where I'll start cutting stuff out of it because I have to relish it for a while. I have to sit with it for a while. I have to drink my coffee with it each morning and flip through it. And I'm gonna kind of flip through it a little bit here so you can see why it's so delicious. And let's see here. I like reading all these little stories about people. 
uh, finding, you know, these are, you know, what do you call them? Kin. I mean, this is, these are my people. This is my tribe. I haven't met any of them, but they're my people. And we flip through and, you know, here's this cute little, cute little drawing some, uh, somebody did. They have all these artists that contribute to the magazine. Oh, I love it so much. And then they always back it with, you know, pretty paper. So you can tear these out individually and do all kinds of wonderful things with them. Oh, look at this. This is my love right now with, uh, with our vintage shop. I'm really into bohemian right now. The whole boho look. Oh, so this is just, oh, this is me. And teapots, how wonderful. I'm, I'm more of a coffee drinker than a tea drinker, but I aspire to someday be a tea drinker because it's so beautiful, the, all the pots and the cups and, oh, look at that. Oh, that's happiness to me. And, well, you should see our shop. I have this thing for coffee percolators and teapots and mugs and cups and, oh, wonderful. Looks like my shop. Only here in the shop, they're already colored. Here I have the opportunity to color and make my own, design my own coffee mugs. Happiness, cream and sugar. This is just such, this is my joy. Oh, typewriter, that's another joy. Anything vintage, anything paper related, anything literature related, and or if it's owls or cats, then here we are. This is my space. We have shop cats, by the way. Um, Dijon is my big orange tabby cat, and he's, oh, he's just kind of a monster. He's kind of a big bull and kind of knocks things around, knocks me around. And then we have Boo. She's our shop kitty. She is 21 years old. She's a long-haired tortie. She's gorgeous. People come in here sometimes just to see her. And we have... Little Kitty, and her name is either Gypsy or Penny. We can't really decide, so we really just end up calling her Kitty all the time. Poor little girl. She was a tiny, tiny, tiny little stray that we found in a neighboring town. And she loves us and loves attention. But she also um, will run from us sometimes, too. It's kind of weird. Oh, I love this color. I just... I love this mustardy, anything that's uh, 1970s, and I'm there, babe. Eh, I mean, all kinds of, isn't this beautiful? And, and maybe for this video, this is all I'm going to do is flip through my favorite magazine and um, be a good test of a video. Right? Look, now here's some origami. I haven't ever done origami, believe it or not, in all my paper crafting ventures i haven't done origami but they give you the beautiful paper and then on the back side of course was the diagram and they tell you how to fold it and maybe one of these days i'll practice one of these but what a nice little treat that one's interesting oh and i like this with the koi the japanese koi here Birds, love all birds. You can't really tell what that is, but it's little teeny tiny birdies. Have a thing for those too. Love these. I love anything kind of folk art also, you know. Folk art, Dutch, you know, Dutch art. I don't know, is that a thing? I'm part Dutch. Maybe that's why I'm attracted to it. Anyway, there's all kinds of goodies here. Then there's a whole section here for journaling, which I do my own, you know, junk journals, which are super fun. But um, I will start cutting things out of the magazines eventually. I did it with, um, there's that magazine. This is another Flow magazine, but this is one of their mindful mindfulness magazines. This isn't the Paper Lovers one, but it is still um, for paper lovers. If you love paper, you will love any of the Flow magazines. They have several editions. This one was Mindfulness English Edition, and I had fun with this, and I enjoyed it for 
long time. I, I think this is one of my older ones, actually. I don't know how long I've had it exactly, but it's gotten a little thinner. It started out really thick. It's gotten thinner because I have been finally taking things out of this to put and use in my junk journals. Some of the things I've taken out are these fabulous little cards. These were in here. Look how cute that is. Can you see? It says, enjoy the magic and look at the little owl. Isn't he sweet? And then on the back of each of these, I don't know, you could journal and stuff. And anyway, they're just so cute. I add these to, uh, to my journals. Laughter is the sun that drives winter from the human face. Victor Hug. Oh, <laughs> Victor Hugo. That's the, uh, <laughs> that's who's, whose quote this is. Okay. Gotta look at things a little closer. But anyway, isn't it so sweet? Thoughts aren't facts. So don't take them so seriously. Don't take them seriously. That's a good little reminder there. And I love these because they're nice little reminders of happy things. A good life is when you smile often, dream big, laugh a lot, and realize how blessed you are for what you have. How true is that, right? Never, never, never give up. And of course, that's Winston Churchill. I've heard that so many times. This is, this really speaks to me. Do you do what feels good? Just kind of simple. And I like that. I, that's just a good one. And how sweet is this? Here's another cute little teapot. Treat yourself as you would treat a good friend. How sweet. Oh my gosh. This is something that my grandma Hattie said all the time. I mean, it's probably her most quoted thing ever. My granny, um, grandmother Hattie, she passed away at 100 years old. She lived a good life. And part of that, I think, is because she... She saw the world, as we always said, um, Hattie sees the world through rose-colored glasses, and she did. She saw always the positive in everything, and this is what she would always say on the worst of days. She would say, and this too shall pass, and it's a good reminder for us all, right? Anyway, like I said, this is like my first video. I did one other little video once um, about my stars that I make here in the studio. And that's on my YouTube channel. But I'm very new to this. Just starting out. This is sort of just an introductory video. Um, sorry, guys. I don't spend money on my, <laughs> on my hands. And I should if I'm going to be doing videos. But, you know, that's $30 that I could spend on paper craft goodies. So... <laughs> So I don't do it. I'm sorry. These are the hands of an artist. Okay. Um, this is sweet. Being somewhere is more important than getting somewhere. That's a good reminder for all of us. Being somewhere is more important than getting somewhere. Just, you know, spending more time being. And that's what this Flow Magazine, the mindfulness was about. It was about learning to, um, to be somewhere. Instead of always thinking about the next day or or the last day, um, spending time just being where you are right now. And I have to remind myself of that quite often. And I have to practice that quite often. And I'm trying to meditate more. You know, I'm trying to consciously be aware of where I am more. So anyway, um, good little reminder. So we're going to call this little video here kind of my introductory video where I'm just kind of jabbering on and on here in my studio and talking about Flow Magazine. Hey, Flow, you should send me a new magazine. You know, I'll keep, I'll keep saying, I'll keep promoting you always anyway because I love you no matter what. <laughs> So anyway, um, I think I might try another video today. I have some happy mail to open up and I think I might do a video of that happy, ma happy mail. I haven't even opened it yet. It's sitting here. 
Ooh. And I can't wait to get into it, but I think I'm going to do that as another video because I need the practice on doing the videos. And I decided, I, I watch so many YouTube videos all the time. I mean, usually if I'm not, well, I'm always down here creating and um, oftentimes if I'm not listening to music, I just turn the big TV onto YouTube and, and pick, pick a subject like yesterday it was junk journaling. And I just kind of let YouTube do its thing and it keeps showing me videos of junk journaling. And I'll be honest, I've decided the style I like most is when it's just somebody working in the studio and just kind of being real and showing you what's what and what they got and talking about what's on their mind while they're just showing you beautiful things. And um, I kind of like that style more than I do the really instructional and the ones where you get into the nitty gritty and, and you're showing people, you know, okay, this is two and a half inches by five and three quarters inches. And, and then I put it on to, you know, this so many inches and so many inches and, oh, I just, I don't like all that work. <laughs> um, my art is really, um, it's very intuitive it's very flowy. Um, the work I do kind of just flows. It's kind of what just happens when I sit down and I work. And I have classes and I teach classes and I hold workshops here in my studio. But I rather enjoy just the kind of um, the mindfulness. There's another word. The mindfulness of just kind of being here. And I kind of enjoy watching other people doing that, just working in their studios, just kind of being and doing what they do and kind of showing all their goodies and, and showing the fun. But I, I like it less when it's very instructional. So I think I'm going to keep my videos like this, just kind of light and happy and show you fun and cute things. And plus, I think I'm kind of ADD. I think that my whole life I've been sort of ADD here. So if you looked around my studio, you'd be like, she's also like kind of a hoarder. Um, I'd like to show you around the studio more, but I'll probably um, do that in another video too. But um, right here up in front of me is a whole shelf that is just kind of my happy shelf because I like when I'm sitting here and working. Um, I like to be able to look up at the happy stuff and, and um, it inspires me, you know. And, and it could be random things up here, like one of my favorite is this frog ceramic <laughs> that I found. And I think he's supposed to, you know, hold, you know, your, your sponge by the sink, by the kitchen sink. Somebody hand painted it. And I can't tell what their name is. Um, it's probably from like the 60s or the 70s, you know. But isn't he cute with a mouthful of crayons? <laughs> I just love him. I don't have the heart to get rid of him. So he just kind of sits up here in front of me on the studio shelf holding a mouthful of crayons. And I have all kinds of goodies like that. Like <laughs> the other day I was out um, treasure hunting is what my husband and I call it. And, and my husband found this cutesy little pig. What a cute little guy, isn't he cute? He's a salt or pepper shaker, which whichever. But we never found his partner, just this one little pig. And I couldn't leave him. I had to bring him home. He's so cute. Pigs aren't typically what I collect, but hey, he was adorable. So, you know, this little salt or pepper shaker, whatever, he sits here and makes me happy too. Here's another... Um, salt or pepper shaker that I have that um, we only found one of and she is precious precious too this little I don't I guess she's well I thought she was a squirrel but maybe she's a chipmunk because look at the little tail here or maybe you know what she might be a cat actually that could be a cat I don't know but she's adorable and she's ready for Thanksgiving and she didn't have a little partner, so she also sits here up above me. And so it's a mix of happy little things like this and a bunch of rubber stamps. 
most of my quote rubber stamps that have just inspiring quotes like, you know, you can't ground me, I'm the princess. You know, that one's up here. Uh, a best friend is someone who brings out the best in you is another one of my little stamps. Can you see it good? I feel like I probably shake too much and it's probably hard to read things. Um, here's one of my favorite. If you can imagine it, you can achieve it. If you can dream it, you can become it. So another one of my stamps. So I have all these stamps up here in front of me. I'd give I'd give up chocolate, but I'm no quitter. <laughs> There's another one. And um, so I, this is just my inspiration up here in front of me and my happy place when I'm working. Like I said, it's one of my studio areas. I have other areas and they're all equally happy. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to start getting more and more people in here to share my studio space with me and come and check it out. So anyway, I'm going to say toodles for now. And then I'm going to probably start another video. And once again, I'm the paper peddler. You can find me on Etsy. And, you know, if you find yourself in my neck of the woods, Winchester, Kentucky, come and see us. We're at 28 North Main in Winchester, Kentucky. And you know what? I never told you my name. My name is, <laughs> my name is Elizabeth Emmons. Um, come and check us out. Toodles for now. See ya.